Hi, welcome back. Fourier transform part 1. Here we are going to look at the Fourier transform of a rectangular pulse. Normally, we use Fourier series expansion for periodic signals, GPT. But Fourier transform is normally applied for non-periodic signals such as the signal GT shown below, where the signal is like a pulse here in time domain. So the Fourier transform operation for a non-periodic signal GT is given by this mathematical expression. That is GT multiplied by exponential negative J2 pi FT integral minus infinity plus infinity dt. This is in time domain and you get a function in frequency domain called capital GF. Normally time domain signals we write as G simple simple GT and then when you transform it to frequency domain we get capital GF using Fourier transform operation. And also we can do the inverse Fourier transform operation for the frequency domain function capital GF which is given by capital GF multiplied by exponential j2 pi ft integral minus infinity plus infinity df. Please note that the integral here is exponential positive here. Previously it was exponential negative and capital GF will become simple gt. This is frequency domain will become time domain. Now let's try an example. Obtain the Fourier transform for the rectangular pulse of duration t and amplitude capital A shown below. So duration t actually start from minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 and the amplitude is capital A. Okay, let's see some notations here. If a rectangular pulse given like this from minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 amplitude a, uh, we can actually write a rectangular function rect t over t which is equal to 1 between minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 or otherwise if it's less than minus t by 2 or more than plus t by 2 uh, the function becomes zero. That is a rectangular function t over t. t is the, the width of the pulse and the height is 1. But in our case we have a pulse with height a. Therefore we can write gt equal to a times rectangular t over capital T. Basically this will represent a function with amplitude a in between minus t by 2 to plus t by 2. Now let's apply the Fourier transform equation to the pulse that we have here. So it's minus t by 2 plus t by 2 capital A. So the equation is this one gt exponential negative g j2 pi ft dt minus infinity plus infinity. So our function here is a gt is a exponential minus j2 pi ft dt and actually the integral uh, limits of the integration minus infinity plus infinity will become minus t by 2 to plus t by 2 because below this value it is 0 above this value is 0 therefore the limits of integration is uh, going to change from minus infinity to minus t by 2 this plus infinity will become plus t by 2 and then we do the integration a is a constant and exponential j theta will become Exponential minus j theta will become exponential minus j theta divided by theta. So in this case, theta is equal to minus j2 pi f minus j2 pi ft. So the limits are from minus t by 2 to plus t by 2. Actually, when you substitute the limit, you get exponential minus j2 pi f simple t will become capital T by 2 minus exponential this minus and this minus will become positive j2 pi f simple t will become capital T divided by 2 and divide by minus j2 pi ft 
to pi f capital T basically what will do what we what will happen here is that we multiply by capital T and put a capital T here because we need to order this this in terms of a sine function here actually this is a sine function basically sine uh, e to the power j theta minus e to the minus j theta divided by minus 2j is sine theta so this minus sign will br bring this one to positive and this will become negative so this is uh, sine theta divided by 2 pi ft sine pi ft capital T divided by pi ft that's why we multiplied by t here to make this one look like this because this is a sinc function and then when you divide by t you have to multiply by t so a times t is here so a t sine pi ft divided by pi ft will become sinc ft gf at times sinc ft that is the answer so please note that sinc ft is equal to sine pi ft divided by pi ft basically sine pi x divided by pi x equal to sinc x so pi will not come here basically therefore here sine pi ft divided by pi ft become sinc ft So if you draw the amplitude spectrum of this uh, function, uh, the in f uh, frequency domain, it will look like this because at sinc ft, uh, and then we take the modulus of gf. This is the uh, the gf without taking the modulus, so the negative portion will become positive. It's a sinc function with an amplitude capital at at uh, f equal to zero. It's a frequency spectrum. Of this function so what we can uh, learn from this uh, transformation is that if you have a function GT in time domain we will get uh, the frequency domain capital GF after Fourier applying the Fourier transform operation that means if you have a function a rectangular T over T in time domain which will become in uh, capital A T sync ft in frequency domain basically we have a time domain function like this a rectangular function which will become a sync function in frequency domain please note that here we have considered the modulus of that therefore this sync negative parts of the sync will become positive that's the answer to this question basically it is a simple Fourier transform operation of a square pulse. Thank you.